Hi, my name is Brad Foster and I'm studying web development in Washington, D.C. In this video, I'm going to talk about a web application that I made called Barley, which is built on Node, Express, MongoDB, and Backbone. Barley is just a place to kind of keep track of beers that you like. Given that there are so many craft beers out there with really obscure names, they can be hard to remember, so I thought it would be a good idea to have a place to keep track of maybe beers that I've tried but are so obscure that they might be hard to remember. And yeah, this is the landing page. It also serves as like an age verification system. So if you're not 21 and you try to access the site, um, it gives you this alert. But if you are 21, then you get to go into the main body of the app. And as you can see, like a list of beers has kind of already been started here. Um, Sierra Nevada is not that obscure, but whatever. So let's see. If, you, if I'm a user of this app, I go in and I see that you can add a brew to your collection. So I put in a name, let's say uh, this beer. And... I have an image URL ready, but presumably the user would have to go get their own. So you can add a beer to your collection, like so. You can edit it if you need to change the name or the, uh, or the style, and you can also delete it. The other aspect of the app is this embedded Google map that has, it's set on DC and has like beer and liquor distributors already um, listed on it. And you can pretty easily go and check out another city if you so desire, and the beer distributors were, are, will already be up there. And onto the code, something that, uh, something that I was proud of in the code, just solving like a cores issue on a framework that I haven't used yet. So for these routes, you need to like set set this like these headers that allow for like a accessing like data through like a cross domain reference. So that was something. I mean, I think it's always rewarding to to fix an error that you like haven't really come across before, especially in a new framework. And the next feature that I would add to the app is probably instead of like the user entering all this information would be to hook it up to an API and have uh, that API, like you just put in the name and then the API does the legwork. And yeah, I think one thing I would do differently would be to use a CSS library like Bootstrap because I think, um, although I like the CSS that I wrote, it just took, it took a fair amount of time and I think with Bootstrap, you can, I mean, make your site look a lot more professional, a lot quicker. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.